blind solo progression. I can never take off my blindfold no matter what. The point of this challenge is to try and get blind seer and then see what happens from there. If you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe, dude. Let's jump into it. So as you can see, we're blind right now and it's like, it's gonna be really annoying at night because at night, bro, look. It's like extremely hard to see things, so you just kind of have to go off a of memory. See, in the game, there used to be a flaw called blind, and it was for the hardcore players. But the thing is, it was so hard that a lot of people were picking it and just didn't know what to do. So if you really do want to do a blindfold progression, I would just recommend you just go straight to the trial one and immediately try and get blinded because it is really difficult to move around at sea. Right, I know the goal is to add a minute Teresa so we can go ahead and quickly level up our willpower so we can start getting those talents in order to get blinds here. Oh my, finally, we're here. We're finally here. And I think I memorized the path. Yes. Yes. Let's go. We did it, baby. See, for us Asian players, we have to play at a certain time or we'll get Oregon servers, bruh. And we live in Tokyo. It's our own damn server. So yeah, I, I had to come back and uh, run it back. I just realized, fuck off, dude. Dumbass, stupid Roblox game. All right, after many minutes, I have finally gotten the Trav one in a Tokyo server. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of put myself in a shitty position right here, but we should all be good. All right, that was a bit of a close one, but we're good, we're good. We're just gonna go ahead and put all of our points into uh, willpower. Get this done and over with. Oh, what are spirit? We'll take that, we'll take that. It's also becoming later in the day, I think, because it's starting to get darker, which is kind of annoying, but it's whatever. Yeah, if you want to just prevent taking damage at the start, just hold block, bro. Alright, so we have to go ahead and get breathing exercise, conquer your fears, disbelief, encouraging presence, and unyielding focus. So even if we get a good willpower, oh wait, actually there's one of them right there, breathing exercise, and disbelief. I'm just gonna go ahead and start getting those. Gaze or we'll roll two. Uh, we're just gonna roll two for now. See so if we can get any of them. Savior, conquer your fears. All right, that's the next one actually that we need. I would recommend just like sneak attacking the angels because it just makes it a lot easier and you know what to do with one angel because they fucking do like a bar per hit. So dealing with two of them is kind of annoying. And with the cheese, it's probably one of the easiest events. It's really not that simple. It's just fighting like a human NPC one-on-one. -on -one. So yeah, make sure to do that every time. All right, that one's pretty easy. Again, that little cheese makes everything so much easier. I'm not even angry that it exists, to be honest, because angels can be pretty annoying at a low level. All right, next what we're gonna get is Love Without Resort. Uh, any of these, what we need? No, damn, all right, whatever. We can just get a uh, last resort, I guess, if we need to clutch up here. Ooh, we got a legendary here. Near plasticity. Oh, but we also got disbelief. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, 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 we're just gonna get the legendary. Let's see what we get. Hopefully, adept. Yep, we got adept. All right, that's better. This one's gonna be pretty annoying because it, oh, it's dark now. Ah, oh, shit, dude. Dude, the fact that it's nighttime makes everything so much more difficult. Dude. Uh, it's like actually black. I'm not gonna lie, I really don't like that the fucking golem bosses take this long. It's really annoying that you can like cheese them with like maces, but it takes so fucking long with swords, bruh. It's really annoying. Alright. Dude, it's actually fucking black, dude. Oh my goodness, that's annoying. Do we get next? To be honest, we don't even really have to beat it since we already got adept, but it's whatever. Okay, nothing here. I should get more health, I guess. Oh, come on, really? Gaze. Engage? Oh, actually, that's not bad at all. Robber Baron. Okay. Two, three, seven, two. two. Only two swings, bro. I'm gonna play it safe. One, two, as you can see right there. Bro, in the beginning, you just jump me, bro. I can't even see what was going on, bro. Got a little greedy there at the end, but we're good. Fishman. Uh, anything we need here? No. 
I'm actually starting to get a little worried that we won't be able to get everything we need right now. Ooh, giant slayer. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Encouraging presence, though, we need that. Yeah, we need encouraging presence. Next one up. I'm gonna have to, like, literally be right here. Whenever it spawns in, it blinds me, too, bro. Again, those spit M1s, dude, definitely gotta abuse those. Anyway, about the thing about Enforcer, you just gotta be patient, man. I'm gonna find some of Just help me someone's. I'm gonna find it. Alright, this next one's gonna be really difficult because if we fuck up, we're gonna get punished hard, but it's okay, we got it. Uh, come on. I guess we'll just get to find for the end. I'm not putting any other points into anything else yet because I don't want to get any other talents except uh, the ones we need. Exhaustion Strike. I'll probably get that later. Light Awakening and Condition Swimmer. Only two on one, bro. Ooh, that kick is fast. I'm nervous. I need to stay calm, dude. Fuck off. Ooh, okay. Okay. I almost, I almost died because I was too greedy. Alright, this last part is undeniably probably the most difficult thing you can do in this game right now. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, dude. Because I just can't, I can't see the fucking orbs. I'm going to have to, like, listen and, like, react. Let's get that. No! Oh, I, I was putting in heavy. Wow, I'm stupid. That's, like, four points gone. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't like it. Ooh, neuroplasticity or disbelief. Ooh, shit, neuroplasticity. I'm just gonna get disbelief. Y'all, y'all might get on my head, but dude, it's about the content. It's about the video. Get angry. That wasn't. Me. It's about the content, dude. Wait, let me. Before I do this, all right, I run over here, right? This build is so scuffed. It's unbelievable. Unyielding focus. Oh, that's what we need. ENC, uh, about the content, dude. We'll finish it whether we beat this last part or not. Oh, wait, we still have one more. I think I have a way to deal with the first wave. That is what we're gonna do. We're gonna hold the lock and make sure. Shit, 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 shit. I'm dead. Alright, so I, I kind of got folded there. I think I went to the wrong area. I didn't go back to the spot I usually go to, but uh, it's okay. Anyway, so now the next part, we're going to go ahead and try and get uh, Blind Seer and see if we have everything we need for Blind Seer. So we uh, don't have to really worry about this anymore because it's like dark outside and it's hella hard to see. Getting to like Arisia is extremely painful too. Low power. We have all five. Nice. I'm not gonna lie, bro, like, I'm already kind of lost, bro. Oh, never mind. Oh, random. Yo. Can you guide me to Arisia? Oh, dude, perfect. I am legally... Alright, dude, we got random to help us. Alright, dude. And hey, this makes it way easier for us, dude. I'm not trying to go ahead and, like... Get lo Look how dark it is, bro. Got it. The only thing I don't like about being blind is that whenever you go to the depths, you cannot see anything. I mean, it's actually like black, like fully black. You can't even see your own character. So uh, I don't know, man. I mean, it makes sense, but geez, that means I literally cannot like get sense of it. I cannot die here or the, the run is over. All right, we're here. Thanks. All right, now we'll be on our own. Shit, dude, I'm a little nervous. I also only have praying bees, which is kind of kind of stupid of me. Should have gotten more things to help me uh, level up. Keeps that risk though, you know. I think we were gonna have to go up to the king's palace in order to get the blind sir mark. I think I remember where it is. So we'll see what we do once we get there. You know, the nice thing about bl uh, being blind is like you can definitely like actually well no i was gonna say you can easily tell what time of day it is but you can just uh look up at the sky huh? boy yeah, if you don't I get i think we have to go up this little this town 
shit. I need to find another way to get up here. There's one. All right, stack up our heads. We should be able to get up there. Shout out this random freshie. I don't know what his name is, but shout out this random freshie. Finally, dude, I've been waiting for this moment. I've been, oh. Oh yeah, here we go, man. Yes, sir. Ooh. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. We can see everything. Now it's time to go down into the depths because you already know that's always what we do on this channel. All right. Now that we have our weapon manual, we can just jump off and kill ourselves. Yeah. Oh, nigga. Into the depths we go. On a real note, though, bro, check out that layer two progression coming soon, bro. Or well, probably in a month. I'm not gonna lie. Layer two probably gonna be out for a good bit. I ain't even gonna cap. Sorry to tell you that, but I mean, for a while, it's just gonna be a. Uh, this as all right, all right let's see what we got let's see what we got uh let's fold here actually what the look at you this tried nigga. It. I, I caught you laughing bro you know i can ban you right oh no look at him bro Ooh, aerial stab let's fuck it up dude oh wait hold up i got another one fuck it i'm gonna just take heavy lifting more health See how, no, I, that's why I don't, that's why I don't like fighting uh, enemies with multiple people, bro. Yeah, it, it does a lot of fucking turning around last second and shit. It's, see that? See that? Appreciate the love, bro. Let me see what I got. More health, more sanity. That's what we're going for. Max health, max sanity. Ooh, look at that. Uh, exhaust and strike. Yeah, give me that. You know, the one thing I hate about willpower is that, like, in order to uncap it, you have to find Akira. Bro, do you know how rare Akira is? That nigga is always being taken up by exploiters. How the hell are you supposed to uncap your willpower, bro? They need to switch that up, bro. Ooh. Ooh, magical resolve. Wait, what is this? Increases ether regen. Okay. Two. Ooh, I got the luck. Thank you. Damn, he took my chest, though. But let's just give some a lot of sanity and health. Alright. Hey, power up. Again, I do not know this person, but I mean, like, he chillin', so like, and he's 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 taking all the damn monsters. I need some hits too. Offensive and come back kid. All right, extremely mid. Oh, concussion. And that's power twenty nine, dude. Like speed progression, dude. Like depth is still crazy. Give me that. He's killing all the monsters, but I mean, at least I'm getting powers, whatever, dude. <laughs> oh! That was a close one. I got you, bro. I got you. I got you. He was about to get eaten up. That was a close one. All right, let me see what I got. Oh, Neuroplast. They, they, keep, they keep giving me it. Fine. Fucking. T they, they just want. They're like, I'll go on to take it, nigga. Okay, damn, nigga. Thank you. All right, just just give me a second line for some see what I got. Ooh, harsh response. Ooh, we're punishing a knockout. I'll take that. That's definitely worth. Strength up. It's another power. Damn, bro. Easy powers, bro. What I get? Uh, what I got? Harsh response. Anxious guard. Okay. More health. More health. I would just like to mention that the whole time I was recording this, I was in the depths two hours of just straight depth progression. I did not leave once, and I didn't even get the first stage of insanity. That's how good blind tier plus like max willpower is. I kid you not, it's probably like the fastest way I've ever progressed before, and I don't even have the mark of the trial or whatever. It's really good. There we go. Let's see what we got, let's see what we got. Do a stance, I guess. Okay. Thank you. Too easy, bro, too easy what I get. Ooh. Above half health. Yeah. Now, if you have Wyvern's Claw, something I really recommend you do is just constantly jump while fighting enemies. You deal 20% more damage while you're jumping. So all those M ones where you probably do like 40 damage, or 30 damage, but that's that's like 37, like 50 damage, dude. You're just doing a good amount more. So I highly recommend doing it. Helped me a ton. What we get? What we get? What we get? Ooh. Roll two. Armor conserver, useless. I'll take it. Kick off. You know what? Fuck it. That sounds kind of useful. Bam, dude, dude. Easy pack. Power 37 already, bro. Oh, fitness. 5 health. Ooh. I'll take fitness. No, I didn't mean to level up. Whatever. Uh, Sunken Predators should not be a rare anymore. This shit is ass. 
I'll take brand collapse. Fuck that. Let's ride. Matador. Precisely. I slide you luck. Uh, there you go. You got luck. Oh, thresher scales. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Power 41, dude. Spinning swordsman and bear trap. Yes, oh my god. You're legendary. You're legendary. Your life is meaningful. Thanks. I'm going to do a quick revamp on how to fight the owl. Honestly, you just want to keep on focusing on defense until the owl starts like using its arms to swing, right? Now, whenever the owl disappears, it'll do one of two things. It'll either shoot the feathers or it will go above you and drop down. You can actually look up at the sky and see when it's about to drop down and dodge as it's coming down. That is the way I do with it and dodge it pretty much almost every time. The thing is, the only other time when it disappears is like when it does like the little spinning attack and you can either dodge that or carry that. That one's a little hard, so you have to get used to it. But other than that, just make sure to get like two M1s in between each swing and just play defense whenever it's not swinging. That's what I would recommend. Hopefully this helps. Definitely taking that. Power 43. Okay, 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 okay. Extend the speed boost off pairing. Vital point. Ooh. It's interesting. I've never gotten this before, but I want health. I think this. Oh, line, because you don't have to wait. Let's see what I get. Let's see what I get. Let's see what I get. Uh, uh, landing a hit removes your roll cooldown. Ooh. I like the sound of that. Ooh, that's a power increase. Hold up, buddy. You're going to have to wait. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Safety dance. Fuck it. Am I going to get it again? I don't care about revenge and rapid punches. But what I get? Heart of nerves. Okay. Uh, graceful landing. All right. I mean... Uh... Uh, 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 my bad. Mm, pressure claws. I like the sound of that. Ooh, got a level anyway. Let me see what I got. I don't ever resolve. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've been playing for about two and a half hours and power 48 already. So, like, bro, like, come on, man, dude. People saying they've never hit power 60 before, bro. I get it. But, like, damn, bro. Now I'm gonna do a revamp on how to fight Squibbo. Now the thing about Squibbo is that before I said stay calm, that's still very true, bro. If you start messing up your parrying, it's gonna just keep hitting you. And so what you really need to do is that if it knocks you back, if it hits you a few times in a row, you have to roll or parry its incoming kick. And sometimes it'll do like the thing where it punches the ground, you want to roll that as well, but it comes out really fast, so I understand if you can't. The thing about Squid Hoss is that if you just keep parrying, his posture will build up and you will be able to posture break him and get like two swings in make sure to always do one m1 at a time never swing two m1s in a row or you're just gonna get hit by his fist the thing is is you can kind of let your posture build up and then get it back down by doing some spit m1s but the thing is whenever he parries you you also get posture back as well so it's just gonna come down to who can parry more and if you can you know <laughs> just stay calm enough <laughs> to basically kill him i kid you not dude because i was starting to get a little nervous but it was a close battle i was starting to get nervous but i still managed to beat him in the end because I just remember just one and one at a time. Make sure to stay calm, spit on ones, and just try and posture break them. That's really all you can do. So I wish you well. Woo! I was a little nervous there, but I stay calm and I fucking win, dude. Like easy clap. Ooh. Power 49. What we get? What we get? What we get? Oh, what the hell? Lose your mind. Oh, we gotta lose your mind. Oh, shit. It's time. Okay, uh, a little bit of trolling, tad bit of trolling, but let's see what we got. Oh, no. Nah. No.
No! No! Who added the void? Who fucking added the void? Alright guys, that's gonna be all for the soul progression. As you can see, I was playing for three hours and got to power 50, and I did wipe at the end, but that's because I kind of sold, and um, yeah, you probably shouldn't be doing that. Um, I just kind of got unlucky, but yeah, it's, it's again, really not that hard to progress nowadays, and I'm gonna probably save the rest of this build for when uh, the blind tier actual progression comes out, so look forward to that, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.